What's going on guys, Victor here from Dexter Outdoors. And in today's filet demo, I got a beautiful mutton snapper that has already been scaled and gutted. And I'm gonna show you guys how to filet this fish a very easy way. And we're gonna get really detailed so I can show you guys the ins and outs of this fish. I really like a six inch uh, narrow curved boning knife. This is a Dexter, I'm gonna have it linked below for you guys. And I like it because it allows me to break through the pin bones and uh, I just really like the boning knife for most snapper species. So first thing I do, grab the pec fin right here, get some leverage, go to the soft part of the head meat, cut into there, cut into the head, around and down, okay? Just like that. Now we take the tip of our knife, and now we're gonna outline our fish. So a nice sharp knife, you see how just easily this glides all the way to the tip of the tail. So once I make that first initial outline, I'll just rest my knife on the spine right here. And when I say the spine, I mean you should really feel resistance from the fish's skeletal structure when you're gliding back up. So just like that, as you guys see, one nice swift swoop and I'm to the backbone and you can hear that. And um, so whenever you're flying any fish, always make that outline, rest your knife on the spine, that way you're not missing meat get to the backbone right there. Try not to go past it. Once you get to there, every fish or most fish have a set of pin bones. The pin bones attach the filet, this part, to the rib cage, okay? And a lot of people you'll see, they'll kind of get really stuck here and kind of sawn at it, and especially snapper grouper have uh, a big, nasty rib cage, a very thick rib cage. So what you do is, you gotta break through the pin bones. You kind of hear it. You gotta give it some muscle when you get to that point. Okay, and you want to go over those rib cage bones, just like that. On the other side of the backbone, point the tip of your knife down. And just let your knife take you where it wants to go. Over that rib cage, not through it, over the rib cage. Okay. And there you go. So there's one half of our mutton snapper. And as you guys see, I like to really show people so they can get a closer look of what a fish looks like from the inside out. Don't try to go through this rib cage. Go above it. Get your knife to the, to the very edge of that backbone. Point the tip of your knife down. And that's what it should look like. Real translucent. There's no meat left there. It's just all spine. Now for the other side, we're going to do the same thing. Always feel up by the head where that soft part of the head meat ends. Go down around the pec fin, okay? You also have to find your leverages and what works for you. So when I'm going down from the head to the tail on this side, I like to go this way. But everyone's different. Now I'll take the tip of my knife and the same thing. We're just outlining along the spine. Try to make sure that spine is laying nice and flat. Okay? Now, you can use one hand to lift up. This is the fillet, this is the spine. Lift it up separate okay separate all you're doing when you're flying fish is separating fillet from bone and this side I, I tend to see it's much tougher for people to fillet this side because your fish isn't laying flat now because you've already taken off one half of the fillet so just like that once again we get to the backbone which is that center you can hear my knife listen Get to the center. Now we get up here, and once again, those pin bones, you gotta break through them. You can hear they're real tough. They try to um, attach the fillet to the rib cage. Okay. Tip down. Just like that. So now here's your other filet. There's your mutton snapper, all filleted out. You guys see the proof in the pudding on both sides. Really important, get over that rib cage, keep your knife flush against the spine, and you see how you can see through this fish's spine, that light coming through, that's how you know you did a good job. Now, what I'm about to do with this fish, I'm actually gonna be making some fish head soup. 
So that's one of the reasons I scaled and gutted this fish. Because when you're making fish head soup, you use the entire carcass and you don't want any scales in your soup. There is still so much meat left on this carcass that you will, no matter how good you are at filleting, there's little nooks and crannies. You have the throat, you have the collar, you have the belly right here. You have all this cheek meat and when you boil it and make a good fish stock, you're gonna be able to extract that. Now, to skin your fish, if you wanna leave the skin on, you totally can, as long as you take the scales off. To skin it, I like a little bit of a longer knife. This is a nine inch narrow fillet, and as you guys see, it covers the fillet from side to side, which is what I like. So starting over here by the tail, we're just gonna go up from the tail towards the head. And all you're doing is separating that fillet from the skin. You really try to make sure that you um that you are not leaving any skin on the fillet so it helps to leave a tiny bit of meat sometimes on the skin itself like you see here we lift a very thin layer of meat and this is usually the most red and uh, oily part of the fish anyway okay and now as you guys will see the other side there's no skin boneless well almost boneless skinless fillet the pin bones that i told you guys about earlier the real tough pin bones that attach the fillet to the rib cage run about halfway down the length of the fish from the head side to the tail side take your knife go on one side of it and the uh, pin bones also coincide with the uh, bloodline which runs along the center of the fish on the other side of it now you're going to lift up lift up cut it off and that's all there is to it. So now you got a boneless, skinless piece of mutton snapper ready for the dinner table. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like them, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in that next filet video.